Hey everyone, it's me, Autry, and today I thought I'd show you the process of cleaning and fixing up this Melodia. As you can see, it's pretty dusty and dirty. Beautiful lettering though. Um, and the scrolls at the tops, um, they're in rough shape. Uh, look, at, look at this one, it's like kind of crushed. It's just, basically, these pipes are sad and they need our help. To catch everyone up in case anyone's like, oh, what is she talking about? I turn to the Encyclopedia of Organ Stops, organstops.org, which is a very great resource. So here's its page on the Melodia. It says, it's an open wooden flute of eight foot pitch, usually with inverted mouths. Its tone has been described variously as smooth, singing, round, rich, warm, and mellow. And it was popular in the US and Canada from the middle of the 19th century through the early 20th. They are indeed open. You can see that here, the top of the pipe is not covered. Um, the tuning scrolls are attached to them, and so you uh, manipulate the scroll to raise and lower the pitch of the pipe. And here you can see these very regular notches cut into the language of the pipe. Those are called nicks, and they give um, the speech of the pipe a very smooth quality. And I'll blow into a pipe to show you what it kind of sounds like. And then I'm like having this reaction because the pipe was full of dust and gunk and it got everywhere and I wasn't expecting it. But anyway, on to working on the pipes. So first I am taking the caps off. Um, so you just have to unscrew them all. So, you know, you do it for every single pipe. It's, it's kind of repetitive. I enjoy it though. Um, oh, I was gonna say, my boss got this Melodia in Pennsylvania and he thinks it's probably from the late 19th or early 20th century. Yeah, once you loosen the screws enough, the caps come right off. And here they all are, capless. Oh my. Look, they're like cute little faces. For the next step, I brought all the pipes outside because I'm going to be wiping them down with denatured alcohol. And that stuff is no joke. It's like you don't want to inhale those fumes indoors, you know. So you take a dab of that denatured alcohol and then you wipe down all the sides of the pipe. You want to be thorough but you don't want to press too hard because this stuff is so strong it could take the shellac off. And then you do the foot. There we go. Look how much gunk was on that pipe. And you do the top as well. Look at that cobweb that I found. Yeesh. Okay, look at this. This is after I've wiped them all down. And do you see how they shine? Remember how like kind of dull and sad they were before? I can't help but personify organ pipes and to me they're all like cooing appreciatively and they're like, thank you! Hey look, this one's like, thank you Audrey! I was so sad before and no one had dusted me off in a really long time and, and now you're making me all nice and shiny and I, I just want to say thank you! But we're not done yet, because we're going to make their scrolls all nice. So first we unroll all of them. The scrolls were also super dirty. Look at my fingers. That's just from touching the scrolls. Here's the obligatory close-up and rolling the super crushed one. So what I do is I line up two pipes so that the body of one is supporting the scroll of the other. And then I just whack it, basically. It's really loud. I do that so the scroll is nice and flat and smooth. Here's that from another angle, flattening the scroll. And then look how nice and uh, level that is, nice and flat. But this is the really fun part. So I'm using this tool, it's called a scroll key and I'm rolling back up the scroll. I'm keeping tension on it with my thumb there so that it's a nice tight roll. Weird fact, in the organ building and maintenance community, we call these tuna can openers, at least according to my boss. I don't think he's messing with me. There are so many weird 
little terms um, that we use, so it's probably true. So as I'm rolling the scrolls back up, I'm putting the pipes back on the table. Look how nice they look! Look at them! Here's me rolling up a little baby one. They're so cute! So here is the result after I made the scrolls all flat and smooth and re-rolled them all. And wow, don't they look so much better. The last thing I did was screw the caps back on and then I cleaned them because it would be sad if the rest of the pipe was shiny and pristine and the cap was like sad and dusty. So I cleaned the caps. Et voila, this is the finished result. This is a very happy Melodia that will be going to a good home. It looks pretty, it will be easy to tune, and the pipes are just happier now, so it makes me really happy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more organ maintenance content. And yeah, I'm a dork. Okay, bye! <laughs>